All right, so quick little video today. Um, actually working on my truck, 2022 uh, Ram 3500. So um, we'll be pulling the camper probably next week. So um, when I got the truck, I didn't get the fifth wheel prep. So I, you know, you may have seen my other videos. I installed the BMW turnover ball. So I've got this. Uh, outlet in the bed of the truck but no um, fifth wheel prep so on my power wagon I had installed this Hopkins uh, 7 pin kind of in bed adapter so I plug up my fifth wheel on the bed and this plugs into the uh, existing wiring harness behind the bumper for the 7 pin and I took it off my power wagon um, because the same one fits this truck. So I just went and took it back off the truck before I got rid of it. And today I'm going to install it on this truck. Like I say, I'll be pulling the camper soon. So I figured I'd go ahead and get this uh, installed. So what this is going to require is me to drill a hole uh, in this area somewhere. And it's roughly, uh, I think it's almost two inch holes what this requires. But lucky me, in all this mess, I can't find my hole saw bits. No idea where they're at. So, um, I'll probably just drill a hole, use the die grinder maybe. I don't know yet. I'm going to look a little longer for my <laughs> hole saw bits. Uh, they're in here somewhere, just I don't know where. So, um, I'll try to track those down and um, get this thing get this thing installed. So, I'll be ready to pull the camper when it's that time. So. Let's uh, try to find the stuff and get these holes uh, knocked out. So here's the the plug I'm putting in. I'm going to mount it somewhere like this. Um, I don't think I'll have any issues right here, but I'm going to kind of mark where I want it to go and then crawl into the truck just to see if I can tell if anything's going to hit about where I want it because I should be able to see this um, dimple here on the back and then maybe the mount for this. So I kind of get an idea where I'm at and make sure nothing's going to hit. So something like that should be all right. Yeah, close enough. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but this that I traced is actually smaller than the piece that's going to go in there. So <clears throat> what I'll do is when I get down there and make sure this is kind of close to where I want and or nothing's in the back going to get in the way, then I'll cut the hole out. I'll mark this one once I get it, kind of where this will fit in there, mark that out, and uh, go from there. So I'm going to look under bottom, make sure that nothing's in the way. I'm not sure what you can see up in there, but I reached up in there and felt, and there's nothing um, behind where I'm going to drill that hole. So I believe we should be all right. So let's uh, cut as a hole now. I got my Harbor Freight step bit. Goes up to an inch and three eighths, looks like. So we'll just uh, use this and see what we get to. <laughs> Looks like that's pretty dull. <laughs> Dang. I've dimpled in at the bedside. It's a thin. What I hate about step bits. Ah. 
Okay, we made it. So that's really close to that diameter. So we'll take the die grinder to that because I did find my um, hole saw bits, by the way, but I had a, a three and a half inch and a two and a half inch was the closest I had to this size, which the two and a half inch was too big. So we'll just uh, die grind this out. boxes I beveled the edges so it fit down in the one of the ridges in the side of the bed and I ground this in the wrong spot but oh well it works so we'll mount that somewhere like that and should be about ready to go let's do it this to rust around the edge of that so we'll try this paint pen out see if that's enough to do anything whoops okay this ain't working out as good as I thought I think I'm just painting myself. This seemed like a really good idea. more paint on me than I did the truck but oh well should be good enough we'll let that dry for a second then we'll mark the holes for the screws and drill those plugged up we can go ahead and uh, drill some pilot holes for these uh, screws I got self tappers but they never seem to run in as good as you'd like so we'll at least drill uh, one or two of them with pilot hole
Does that look straight? Does to me. There we go. Let's try that. Probably could have used the center punch and uh, just punched all them, then moved it out of the way and drilled it. But oh well, hindsight's twenty twenty. I wish I had some uh, black screws. Maybe I'll get some. For now, these will be all right. So now the rest is just uh, unhooking the wire and down behind the bumper and um, plugging it up. I think there's a ground wire that's got to be hooked up and then um, just uh, tucking the wire up, zip tying it up out of the way because it's actually pretty long. So let's do that now. So here's where the the harness will plug into is the the seven pin that's already on the back bumper. So I'm gonna run these wires kind of up and out of the way just so they ain't the way of this step the bed step and uh get hung up on anything so i'll kind of follow this harness probably above this step and stuff you get over to here we'll plug it up and zip tie it up out of the way and i'm not going to take my spare down i got enough room to do it without doing that so uh, once we do that um should be about done except for mine has this i think it was a ground wire now the newer ones I looked looked online, they don't have this wire, so I'm not sure what that's all about. But we'll ground it anyway, and uh, yeah, let's get this hooked up. Now I put new dielectric grease on these and clean them up a little bit. So it should be all right. nice and neat let's see if we can't zip tie this up nice and out of the way and I believe we'll be all right let's do that
Okay, so I got all this excess slack and I've got one zip tie left. So let's make it count. And that wire loom is full of dirt. Okay, now my eyes are full of dirt, but I got it zip tied up. Now I gotta find somewhere to put this ground wire, which I think is what that is. All I can find online is the, the instructions for the new wire harness, which I guess is the same, but it don't have that ground wire. And I, I swear I think it was a ground wire. So we'll go ahead and uh, Screw that in somewhere. We'll see what we can find. Put some dielectric grease on that. Hopefully that helps us keep a good connection. test it up whenever I hook my trailer up so fingers crossed right all right so yeah let's uh get on something else <laughs> 